What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of Ethereum and we're also going to get into some altcoins here. But first of all, what I want to do was talk to you guys about technical analysis and simplifying what you're seeing taking place in the market. So many people out there want to sensationalize things and they just want to make it too complicated. What I'm telling you all is really look at the price action, look at the trend, look at the short term, the intermediate term and the longer term trend and really pay attention to trend lines, moving averages, support and resistance and volume. That's what's going to help you in this space, and that's what I try to accomplish here. So if you get something from that, you like it without all the sensationalism and all the garbage that goes along with everything, you know, when people are trying to hype up specific coins, let me know down low. We're trying to be here as easy as we can in terms of just breaking it down for the technical analysis. That's what I want to do for you guys so you can learn this for the longer term and you can help yourself out. Okay, so let's dig into this. So for Ethereum right now, main thing that we're paying attention to is this lower trend line. You can see this right here, and this is going to contain our higher lows that have been coming in. So our trend is up here, right? We're paying attention that we are trying to get out of the short-term downtrend that we are in. We hit a bullish engulfing candle still on lower volume, but that's typical in these symmetrical triangles that we're dealing with now. So symmetrical triangles, they're a neutral pattern, but more so they will follow the trend. They will be those continuation patterns. Okay, if it is, if it does end up being a reversal, then that's a big deal for us. But as of right now, the trend has still been up. The macro trend has been up. You can see the EMAs here. We're up above, if we can close today, up above our 20, our 50, 100, and 200. So the trend is up. You wanna be trading with the trend. And in my opinion, this isn't financial advice. I think this is time where if you're a longer term investor in Ethereum, you just wanna sit back and continue to be patient here and let this trend ride itself out here because if we do get a big break out of this symmetrical triangle what i would do and this is something that i like to do i like to look at the price range of the base of this so it'd be about 37 percent and what we want to do is add that to where we potentially could be breaking out at and if we go up roughly around 37 percent right in that range that could take us up to around 2500 dollars which would be very It'd be a huge move for us. You know, guys, everybody talks about Ethereum's got to be at 10000 tomorrow or 25000 We have to take price action one day at a time. Price is the king of the chart. We have to take it one day at a time and evaluate what's going on by the day because there's lots of world events that can take place. Okay? You always have to factor all that in, and we still have to factor in the stock market, other types of things in this space. Now, another thing I want to point out for us here, which is a good thing, you can see the RSI is at 54. We're not in overbought conditions where we're at right now. We're not up around 80, 90, anything like that. We have plenty of room to get a really nice move out of here. So overhead resistances that we're going to have to get up through. We're going to talk a little bit larger here. We're going to say 1,941. Then it's going to be up to around that 2,000, excuse me, 2,038 right in that range where we had this long leg almost like rickshaw man candle right here and we had heavy selling off and as you can see here the volume's been down so the volume profile has been down and that's typical in these symmetrical triangles and that's why this break that we get up here it's going to be so important that it's accompanied by volume so we have to watch out for that as volume's been going down so for ethereum now if we go down here you can see right now the technicals were showing a buy signal we have a one cell, a nine neutral, and a 16 buy. The oscillator is one cell, eight neutral, and a two buy. So if we're looking down here, momentum is going to be a buy. MACD level is going to be a sell. Bull bear power is going to be a buy. So that's going to be Ethereum. If you'd like me covering ETH, guys, let me know down low. We'll get into next. OMG has been doing really well in the market today. We're up about 12%. You know, guys, let me try another chart here quick. This one's been giving me some trouble here the last couple days. So let's take a look on Kraken, see if this will be a little bit better for us. All right, so for OMG, main thing when we're looking at this price action here, we want to continue to keep the higher lows coming in. We're coming up to a resistance area right now. You can see we have a little selling off. That's going to be at $6.58. If we can get up over top of that, we'd look to around $7.76 and then be up around these tweezer tops at $8.01. You can see heavier volume is coming in into this area. And you know, guys, I've been a long supporter of omg i think this is a coin that really could help solve some of ethereum's problems it has a lower supply i think it's 140 million along those lines but i really think this is one that's going to do well down the road and if you take a look i'm not saying it's the equivalent of it but coins with the same supply binance has been able to get up into the 200s almost 300 dollars, and i do believe it's similar to the 
overall circulating supply. So that just shows you what type of money can come into these coins and what prices they can get to. So the highest we've recently had for OMG was about $9.50. And then the overall, I believe was up, this chart isn't showing it here, but I believe it was up around like $28. So if we can get up above 28, then it's blue sky breakouts. Obviously we have a lot of work to do. We're gonna take it day by day. But this is one that has some potential and you can see when money comes into it because the supply is relatively small it really gets pumped hard so always keep an eye on omg and it has that basically name recognition from the past i remember people in the past saying it was going to go to a thousand dollars and all this crazy type of stuff so if you see volume coming to omg things could get explosive because people do remember what people were talking about in terms of omg and what type of potential there could be down the road so always keep an eye on that we're going to keep rolling through here zcash is at 155 wanted to get into link we're sitting at 27 dollars and 55 cents so for link it's been tough here we've really just been moving sideways ranging the main overhead resistance we need to get through is going to be 31 dollars and 79 cents that's going to be pretty heavy resistance then it'd be up to around 35 dollars and 53 cents and that's going to take volume you can see the volume's a little bit lower right now so we got to have that volume to get up through this. We don't want to fall here and start dropping down through our support of 2477. If we do drop through that, I would look down to around that $20 range. That's how quick it probably could drop. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen for Link. We're not in crazy overbought conditions, anything. We've been moving sideways. We just have to be patient. The RSI is at 48 right now. We're starting to point up a little bit, but we need that volume. So if we get into the technicals here and take a look, we have a seven cell a nine neutral and a 10 buy. So you can see very neutral. And that's what we're talking about. Just that ranging, moving sideways. Always pay attention to that. Oscillators, one sell eight neutral and a two buy. The reason why I show that guys is because I like to do my technical analysis. I don't look at it beforehand. Then I like to kind of match it up with that and see where we're at. And just like this one here, just that neutral, just really moving sideways right now. If we throw on the EMAs, we're fighting to close today up above the 50 EMA that's going to be in pink and then it'd be our purple here that's going to be our 20 EMA so trying to get back up above both of those we're still holding support at the 100 and the 200 there so that's going to be linked guys if you're here for that let me know down lower it's going to keep rolling down through here let's take a look at Tezos Tezos has been reaching a little bit today you can see this overhead resistance area We've wicked up to it quite a few times and that's at four dollars and 75 cents so that's a big area we need to get up through if we can we'd be looking up to around five dollars and 24 cents still trading up above our 20 our 50 100 and 200 so the trend is up rsi right now at 57 that's also pointing up we just need that heavier volume to get through these big overhead resistance areas but you can see from tezos guys it really formed this big cup almost or this big rounded bottom we'll see if this could almost be some type of handle aspect and you know guys chart patterns it doesn't have to be perfect it's not always going to be like the book you're just going to look at these things and you're anticipating of what potentially could happen so if we get that next big pop to the upside and we could get over top of about six dollars then it could be those blue sky breakouts and that's when things can get pretty exciting but the main area of support we're going to look to hold right now is three dollars and 88 cents that's what we're going to want to hold bitcoin right now is at fifty seven thousand dollars fifty seven thousand seven hundred and twenty Let's see here digibyte take a look at that guys up at seven cents looking good xlm at 40 cents civic at 48 right now these are just all the coins that i like to pay attention to as we cruise down through this there's a couple other ones i want to take a look at let's go to kyber network okay kyber network same deal you can really see this big rounded bottom that we had then we almost had that handle push up you can see we're still in an uptrend here higher lows that are taking place found support off the 50 here it's going to take volume to get back up overhead resistance we're going to call it around three dollars right in that range but whenever you see these longer wicks a lot of times that's when you start getting that retracement look up here longer wicks retracement and i try to help you guys here on this channel that's why i give you this information and also if you ever want to help this channel guys you've got some from it i got addresses in the description box it's always uh i'm always grateful whoever helps out this channel so you know as we're looking at this we're taking a look at kyber network here you can see we had a bullish engulfing candle right didn't come on a lot of heavy volume though and now we're just looking for that follow through if we do come back down we'd want to set a higher low see if we can go back up there and set a higher high in terms of the technicals kyber network we have a two cell a 10 neutral and a 14 buy oscillators two cell nine neutral and a zero buy moving averages zero cell one neutral and a 14 buy band right now is at $14.16 this is another one I like NMR you can see it's had a big rounded bottom on it 
take a look at this one and i believe the supply is very few on this one as well it might be below 10 million something along those lines we had a big sell-off up here we made it up roughly to about 67 dollars, and then we came all the way back down to 38 and that's the importance of taking some profit and then putting in those limit buy orders at areas as well guys that can always help you we didn't have a massive amount of selling pressure here so in my opinion not financial advice this one that may continue to keep moving down the road here the trend is up you can see it's marked by this yellow trend line if we move this down a little bit we're looking at it on a different time frame so something along those lines right there and that's going to be our uptrend Right there we want to continue to make moves see if we can come up and get a higher high and if we did end up getting a higher high that could be up around 75 80 dollars if we do end up getting there and we get that heavy volume that we're looking for um file has been ripping that one's up to 126 dollars right now if we work our way up uniswaps at 28.55 so up here a lot of wick same deal guys and then we had that big sell-off so always look for that stuff main area of support for uni we're going to want to hold about 2635 overhead resistance we've tapped it a couple times today it's going to be about 29 dollars and 55 cents rsi is sitting around 50 right now so still trends up we get these big retracements we're just going to see if we get that next pop to the upside we have hit as high as that 37 dollars guys so when uniswap moves really moves fast hard and aggressively so just keep your eye out on all these want to do a quick update for y'all god bless each and every one of you don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell take care my friends